Hi, so let me just start off and say that I apologize for the next month because uh, due to medical reasons, I'm gonna be a little bit in and out of YouTube. I have to take care of myself right now and I physically might not be able to do any sort of video work. If you've been paying attention to my social media, you might have an idea as to why. I can go into that in another time, but not right now. Second of all, this video is gonna be about YouTube related content and stuff of that nature. So if you're not really into that, then this video may not be for you, but this is gonna be kind of a stream of consciousness kind of video where I'm just going to rattle off about something that has been kind of on my mind recently when it comes to YouTube and I know it's probably on the minds of other creators too so we're just going to go off with that. And the topic that I'm trying to talk about is demonetization. If you don't know what that means, it means that your videos will no longer make money for you. A couple months ago, YouTube announced that they were going to really cut the YouTube partner program by not having monetized videos for people who are under a thousand subscribers or they have like, you know, 4,000 views or so. Now, while I understand why they're doing that, I do also kind of have my opinions against that. As a small YouTuber myself who is is just maybe a hundred or twenty subscribers short of reaching that thousand subscriber point, which I would love to happen, but you know, I'm not there yet. I was affected by the demonetization of my videos. Now, here is the thing about that. People like Casey Neistat and Philip DeFranco have been talking about this topic for a while now and how it's really starting to affect the YouTube community, more specifically, these small creators like myself. In its own way, YouTube, by doing this, is kind of in a way showing that they don't necessarily care that much about the small YouTuber community, which I don't really think may be true, but when this happens and, you know, they sh kind of shut down any kind of money-making possibility from my channel, uh, you know, it kind of, well, it kind of punches you in the gut. Now, I'm not saying that I'm doing this because I want to make money. I know that YouTube is far from the capability of making money for me at all to live off of. Quite frankly, this is more of a hobby for me. I shared this story before and I will share it again. When I was in college, I was an actor. I used to entertain, I used to perform, I used to do comedy, I used to do all sorts of things. But when I graduated and I had to move back home, uh, there wasn't really that much opportunity around me to really do that. So that's why I turned back to my YouTube channel, which I knew I had from way back in the day when I did my whole like Disney video diary back when I was doing my Disney college program and I decided to you know resuscitate it back to life and make it into what I'm doing right now sure I'm far from where I want to be creatively and I'm not exactly making my goals necessarily, but it's still a work in progress. That being said, once again, YouTube has become a hobby and a creative outlet for people like me and others who want to express themselves creatively. And with what YouTube's doing with the demonetizing of our videos, it really doesn't show their appreciation towards like the little guy essentially. I remember there was one Facebook group that I was part of just for small YouTubers and one of the moderators of it themselves said that they were going to quit YouTube because they just didn't feel like through all the hard work that they've been doing and through everything that they've been trying to achieve creatively and just on YouTube and with the community and YouTube also, you know, enforcing the rules upon us, they decided to quit it because, well, that's just... They just didn't feel like they had a chance. And unfortunately, that's how I felt for a good amount of time too. But here's a twist to that. If there's really something that you want in life, you always need to fight for it and it's never gonna be easy to achieve it. And for me, that's essentially just being, you know, a creative type on YouTube and just sharing my stories and making my videos and maybe getting a career out of this, who knows? So to all my fellow small YouTubers out there, because I know that there's a hell of a lot of you out there who have been struggling with making content, because let's be honest, it's very saturated out on YouTube right now, and you may be doing a gaming video, and you may have amazing commentary, amazing comedy, you may, be, you may have like amazing skills, or whatever it is you do. There might be 15 other people who do that, but they're not doing it as well as you, but they're somehow getting more attention to it. And I understand that. It frustrates me even sometimes too. But that being said, you shouldn't give up on yourself and your creativity and your hobby just because you see someone maybe achieving a little bit more. Just because you see someone getting more likes, some more subscribers, more views, and YouTube's monetizing their videos. It sucks. But at the end of the day, we gotta keep fighting on. If you're a small YouTuber out there, I know it sucks, but we can get through this. Monetize or not. Keep making videos, keep pushing through, and who knows? 
something great might come out of it. 